we've got to apologize to the fans because they were uh, absolutely fantastic and that performance is not good enough for a Man United team uh, both from uh, all the way from from me to players and we know that we uh, let the fans down let the clubs club down today because uh, that performance is it's difficult to uh, describe because it's so bad. Uh, they beat us on all the basics. The basics, you know, long throw in, stick your head in, our own corner kick, they counter attack. Uh, their corner, their first to the ball, good strike by the way, the, uh, the fourth one as well, there's many chances to get rid of that ball, stick your head in again. So we were beaten on all, all the things, all the ingredients that you need. Uh, added to your talent today and as I said last week as well there's never there's no place you can hide on the pitch so uh, that's just 85 minutes before we got a strike on target which is uh, not good enough we know that sorry Well, we've. Uh, that's one of the things I've said here. Uh, that's the basics and basic ingredients in a in a per team performance is running, uh, that desire, fitness. Of course, we know our fitness is nowhere good enough. I've said it before that I can't wait to get a pre-season uh, done. We've been fantastic to get to where we are. Don't get me wrong, and maybe that's got us got the eye off all the because we've been chasing results because suddenly we're, we're close to this top four uh, we never envisaged that you could be so close when you when you came in now it's just uh, maybe it's caught up with us and uh, we all know to win games of football as i refer to many times here again basics and fitness is that's that's no nothing to do with talent how did you get out of this sort of form? Have City on the other side at Old Trafford on Wednesday. That's the biggest, uh, the biggest, uh, uh, how do you say, incentive that we can have. Old Trafford at home in front of our fantastic fans. They were unbelievable today again. We just got thumped 4-0 and they were, they've never ever uh, moaned at our players. Which they could have, we could have, but... They've been supportive again, and I'm sure they'll support us again on uh, Wednesday night. Then it's up to us, from me to the players, the staff, that we get ourselves ready. What kind of reaction do you expect? Well, you, you, you can talk about reaction. You can talk about every... Uh, I'm sure that in the short term now, we've got to focus on these two games, massive games. If we win, win them too, uh, we're still in with a chance, because I said 75, 76 points we need to get top four. And uh, we've, we're on 64, 12 points to be uh, won. So sometimes it's, it's, it sounds too easy to say, well, you have to look forward, but we cannot dwell too much on this. You have to, yeah, in the long term, we've got to look at this. But short term, we've got to look at City and uh, Chelsea. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you got to ask them. Uh, I've asked them. Uh, you're not going to get the the answer uh, <laughs> from me. But of course, if you want to play at this club, it has to mean more, and it, it's got to be. I've said it as well. I want to want my team to be the hardest work, most the hardest working team in the league. That's what we were. On the Sir Alex, that's what we've always been. You've got Giggsy, Bex, Gary Neville, Dennis Irvin, whoever. The talent you've got, you've run more than anyone. Every single week, at uh, shift up and down that pitch for your teammates, and uh, we have to stick together as a team. We've and we've uh, we've got we can't change the whole squad in uh, in, but it's got to be 
one step at a time and I've said all along I'm I'm going to be successful here and there are players there that won't be part of that successful team but there are players there that of course many of these uh, do have it oh, well we were two points ahead of Everton when I came so I wasn't in under any illusions that we could uh, win the league and be uh, challenged for top uh, top two or top three uh, like this. If you look at the table uh, just before Christmas, look at the table now. Yeah, we're in the same position, but the amount, amount of points that we've uh, taken, and that's down to the players, credit to the players. Maybe it's caught up with us, uh, you know, going through in the Champions League. Maybe, we, as you're alluding to as well, we're not fit enough maybe because we don't run enough, or does it not mean enough? Um, in the end, players will will know that it has to mean everything for you to play at this club, like it does for the fans. Travelled all the way here, not all the way, but they travelled and ran, uh, sang for 90 minutes, or plus, after the game as well. And I don't have, yeah, that's everything. Okay, last question. Yeah. The need to get pre-season under the belt. Yep. Is that kind of spot today is that the, the example of why you need the pre-season under the belt? It's not a surprise that you uh, that you hear the stats that Everton have run more than us. It's not just about running, of course. It's all about it's also about decisions. It's all about st <coughs> sticking your head in where it hurts, defend the long throw in, defend the corner, block that shot, uh, tackle uh, middle of the pitch, put your body on the line. It hurts to win football games. It hurts to, uh, so this is just general uh, and basics that we were far off Everton today. They beat us fair and square uh, and they deserve all the credit they can get. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you.